Hey guys, so like you've seen from the thumbnail and from the title of this video, this is a super different, like just something I would never do on a daily basis that I decided to do for you guys. To kind of, I, my creative juices kind of got to flow in and I decided, let me do something fun for the people because maybe they're tired of seeing the same mode. Something they can wear out or something they can do this and maybe they want something crazy something fun something they've never seen before something to you know show this is jamie this is who i am i can be creative i can give you something to wear on date night give you something to go to church in and something you know if you wanted to go see a drag show something you can wear there teach them queens how to do it honey but basically that's just what i did in this look and i actually in the video i am wearing like a more like a super bold just out there lip color it's um unicorn tears actually but i took a couple of pictures and i was like let me kind of tone this down just a little bit and i actually ended up putting on my nyx liquid lingerie in lace detail just to kind of tone it down a little bit make this a, a much more wearable like if you wanted to wear this out you know of course minus the iridescent glitter highlight and everything in case you wanted to wear this out anywhere i just wanted to give you the option of a lip that you can also try but if you're new welcome to my channel and my name is jamie and i really hope that you enjoy this video and i'm sorry you guys that it's super long y'all know i don't like doing talk throughs because i don't do anything but ramble on and on and on but that's okay some of you guys just like talk throughs they're more detailed but basically that's it be sure to like comment and subscribe and share this video and tell your friends about me you know I'm just slowly trying to grow my community a little bit more. So be sure to tell people about me. And thank you guys for watching. And I really hope y'all enjoy this video. This video, I decided to kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit and do something, you know, fun. Because it is festival season and I did want to kind of like, I guess, contribute my arts to festival season in the YouTube universe. I decided that... I was going to do a fun colorful look and something that you don't really see on my channel but something that I think at least one person that watches this will find interesting and decide to try it themselves. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a just a regular blending, blending brush and I am going to take these two colors out of the 35S palette. I'm going to take this really, really pretty, almost seafoam green color, and then I'm going to take a little bit of this blue right here and knock off the excess, and I'm just going to blend this right into my crease. Now, if you're new to my channel, just for, you know, time purposes, I already do my eyebrows and I go ahead and prime my lids and cover them with my translucent powder but I actually have a video on that so if you want to go to my page and check it out it's my eyebrow routine video which I do cover you know what I do to prime my eyes and everything even if I don't wear a shadow so if you would like to watch that you can go right ahead but that's normally always how I start my channels is just by going ahead and getting the base done because I always go in order of brows eyes and then face and never go out of that order because that will save you so much time and so many do-overs but anyways like i just said i'm just gonna take these two colors knock off the excess and dust this in my crease with a nice fluffy blending brush now i know what y'all are thinking you know what is she doing with them colors where is she gonna wear that to but I told you guys when I said I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and really do something that I've never done before. I've never really played with, you know, I love this palette, but I've just never really played with any of the colors. I think I go to my, my usual, you know, like a few purples, of course the pinks, but I never really go outside of that. So I just kind of sat down and thought, what can I do? 
since I haven't made a video in a while. And, you know, what can I do to attract new people to my channel? Like, attract different people. Because besides for the people that know me personally and just know of my channel. And y'all kind of, it's kind of like y'all know what to expect of my channel, basically. But I really just wanted to try something fun and new. And, I mean, hey, it is 5 o'clock in the morning here, so why not poke my eyeballs with paints and colors and things so eventually by the time i'm done with this i'll be in complete shambles but y'all know that yeah i'm just going to go ahead and repeat this same thing on my other eye And the key to this look, I think, you guys, is it's all about blending. As long, I feel like, and I live by, you know, blend, blend, blend. I don't care what it is, honey, blend. But I believe if you just, if somebody, if you can master the art of blending, you can do anything. You can truly do anything with your makeup if you just master blending because i think blending how you how people blend their makeup i think that's what sets them apart on different scales you know what i'm saying like if somebody's just slapping eyeshadow on with flat brushes and calling it a day and you know they don't really blend or don't take the time out to really blow out and smoke out a color that says a lot about them and their artistry, but I mean, it's not saying that they're bad or what they're doing is ugly. It's just, you know, different strokes for different folks, I guess. I know people who just like to, you know, use their fingers and swipe on a color and go about their day. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all because I know people that do that and have beautiful makeup, but I know some people that would really benefit from having brushes because... I know in the makeup community, hell, it's a super expensive community and people, you know, just try to find hacks and dupes and for everything. But sometimes you can't skip on the important stuff like the brushes or like the primers and the bases. You just, you may just have to shell out that money for it. But I mean, hey, it, it is some super affordable brands that have just as nice stuff as the um as the hiring brands with people you know like i said and i don't want to rant about this the whole video it's just different strokes for different folks honey different people like different things and there's nothing wrong with that so what am i going to do now i think i'm going to take this darker green color right here and this blue as well go back and forth and I'm going to drag this down to the bottom to kind of add just a little bit of depth to my eyes with the same brush Now, what else am I going to do? I think I'm going to take, I think I'm going to do some glitter because it's only right that we throw some glitter in the mix. So I'm going to take this color in Smoky Storm and I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to put this, I, may, I think I'm going to do Halo Eyes. Let me just try it and see where it goes. Hmm. 
and I'm just putting it right on the center but I'm going to actually blend it out with my brush like look at that glitter you guys and that's my friends they can have all my money I mean every single coin I got if my eyes are if my eyes are gonna glitter like this just just take it just take all my money and I'm just this is just a black beauty blender a pro blender and I'm just taking that and kind of buffing away any blue fallout and that is why I don't do my um face makeup first because of fallout not just for this color but probably sorry probably for any color that I have I never do my face first just it's just better you guys like don't question me I'm always trying to question something asking a bunch of riffraff just do as I say okay do as I say and we'll all sleep better at night okay And when you kind of blend and buff it out a little bit more, especially with those, because because I'm not just putting this on my lid since it's actually a halo color, a halo, sorry, the center of our halo eye, it just, to me personally, just looks a little bit better once it's buffed out and because i'm like opening and closing my eyes i'm going to actually come back to blending that out but as of right now we're going to move on to the face which is my favorite part actually because i get to just play with my face in different ways so for my face i'm going to take the nyx what is it color correcting concealer palette i love this i just started color correcting about sorry <laughs> I just started color correcting about maybe a month ago and I was like I wanted to buy like an expensive palette but I was just like you know I'm new to this I don't even know this you know has to offer or probably even like this so I went and got a great inexpensive brand and I'm glad I did because there's no need to get anything expensive when you can go get anything next and it does just as much as the expensive people do but I'm just taking a flat shader brush and I'm going in with as you can see the most used colors this one and this one because from what I know about um, color correction which is not a lot because I really just started this. Use the peach to cover up to everything you don't like. I really, I honestly don't know what the rest of the colors are for, but you know, I, I don't feel like I need the rest of the colors. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I've never seen women of color use the other colors. If that says anything about who I watch on YouTube. They all just go for the peachy tones. So that's what I stick with. And I put them all over like my acne scars and around where my, my, I have like dark spots or red blotches. Cause I think aside from acne, acne, Lord, aside from acne, I think that discoloration is the thing that I suffer from the most that probably bothers me because I don't get ac I don't get acne very much but I do have like spots where I'm just like super super red and then it's like other spots where I'm like I'm really I have dark spots from acne scars so 
And ever since, like, after I had my son, because I never really had acne in high school. Oh, and this is just a damp nude beauty blender. But ever since I had my son, it's like my acne has gotten out of control. And I never had acne in high school or anything like that. So it sucks because it's kind of like I'm basically getting adult acne. And who the hell wants adult acne? Like, what? Why is that even the thing? I got, I, I truly don't understand that. But I mean, I don't know if y'all can even tell, but honey, the color correction is a game changer. But on some days, just depending how I'm feeling, if I color correct, I will not conceal because it is a color correcting concealer. So there's no need to like color correct then decide to um, take on the Tarte Shape Tape. I love my shape tape, but honey, it is industrial strength. And sometimes, you know, sometimes I don't need all that. I ain't going to war. I, you know, we ain't doing nothing like that. I mean, we might be going in the war knowing the president, but I won't be there. So I don't feel like I need all that. So I know I'm looking like kind of ghostly right now. Maybe it's my lights. I don't know. But for my foundation, I am going to take my Double Wear Foundation. And I love this foundation because this is truly probably one of the only foundations where I don't get oily and I stay matte because I'm combination. But when it gets hot outside, I'm more oily. You know, when it's cold outside, I'm more dry. So right now, since we're in spring, midsummer, or well, not midsummer, but spring going into summer, I am very, very oily. And this right here is a lifesaver. I don't use anything else at the moment. This is all I'm using, and I'm in the shade 3W120. So as you know, because you're probably not new to this, we always use wet beauty blenders on this channel. Because honey, honey, you've seen your cousin and them use the dry ones and how they face look. We ain't even gonna, we ain't even gonna go there. We don't want to get into all that. But just remember you guys, always damp your beauty blender because it basically makes the makeup melt into your skin. And I think, you know, even somebody saying, oh yeah, my makeup just melts into my skin. Girl, I would buy that. <laughs> then again, I'd buy anything, but I would definitely buy that. And make sure to get up under that chin, honey, because you don't want a mask. Get right behind and down your ear. And it doesn't take much of this at all. I think I pressed once and that pretty much covered half my face. And then I'm just gonna take whatever is left and work on the other side. And I'm pretty good about spotting my color even without testing it. Cause I know when I went to go get this, the woman just insisted on using that little face thing that you put it like three different places and it comes up with your perfect makeup match. She just insisted on using that. Like she was not gonna let me just buy my stuff and go. Which I mean, I don't blame her, that's her job because I'd hate to have to take it back, but she was like, no, no, I don't believe you're that color. I believe you're a little bit darker than that. And I was like, well, honey, you know, I've been in the game a long time. And this is my face. I think I, I know, but you know, I'll let her, i let her do it. That's her job. And was I right? Hell yeah. Cause you know, Sometimes 
it's just like when you go to Sephora with no makeup on and they hover you because they think you don't know what you're doing when really girl I can point out what you doing wrong and yeah, I don't work here but girl that's a whole nother video child so next I'm just going to take my contour my cream contour palette and a buffer brush and what color? I don't know why I'm holding this upside down like that. I'm just going to take this nice milk chocolatey looking color and really kind of saturate my brush. And I just got into cream contouring. So it's like we're all learning together. I mean, I, I truly love it. Like it's the best thing I probably could have ever done. It's just like, but I mean, I guess it's just like everything else in makeup. You always just have to practice and find what's best for you. Cause I know I was scared of cream contour. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> because it's easy. It's easy to go from, ooh, I look so good to, oh, looks like somebody slapped me in the face with a mud pie. And that happens more often than you think. Cause I, I constantly feel like, man, I just overdid it. I just overdid it. Oh, I look too muddy, blah, 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 blah. But hey, makeup is trial and error. And the great thing about makeup is you can wash it off and start all over if you want to. It's not permanent. You don't have to get a consultation and get it put on and put off. It's something you can play with and change your look. If I wanted to wake up and recreate myself, I probably could. I mean, I'm not there yet skill wise, but if I wanted to, I really, I'm pretty sure I could. So with this, you just want to really make sure that you blend this out. You want to almost blend it out into nothing, but just, you know, like get that definition to your face. So when you go over with the powder, it's like, like intense. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more of this color and I'm actually going to carve my jaw because nobody wants to see my double chin can y'all hear the birds chirping that's crazy I'm gonna be feeling every bit of this in the morning because I'm probably not even gonna go to sleep after this. And I know it's. Mm -hmm. And dab it a little bit more of this cream contour. And I'm just going to. I didn't grab a lot of the cream contour for this, but I'm just going to. Take what I have left because I don't really I don't really like to contour my nose like extreme like I don't like to get a Janet over here I like to keep it you know good times Janet not in control Janet so I just like to basically take what's ever left over and just kind of go back and forth on my nose it's like I'm sitting in the middle of the camera when I start and somehow I shift to the right. I don't know well, y'all's left. I don't know. I don't get it. And that's it for powder. Now we're just going to, I mean, cream contour. So now we're just going to take our powder 
And we're using YouTube's favorite translucent, y'all already know. And I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm going to first set up under my eyes. And I don't bake. I mean, it's 2017 and I'm pretty sure nobody bakes anymore. But hey, I don't know. At least nobody I know bakes. But I'm just going to pack and press this up under my eyes. And with the wet beauty blender, I know people, you know, here wet beauty blender and setting powder no that's just a disaster oh my gosh but it's actually just like i said about the foundation it melts it literally melts into your skin now don't be alarmed i know i look a little a little ghostly and keep in mind i have a bunch of studio lights but it's not going to look that way at all once we finish. I do like to sit my bake slash like really cut my contour on my cheeks. Because I worked hard on blending that shit out. So I'm going to make sure y'all see that. Now, once we are done setting, I am just going to take a bronzer and I'm just going to go over my um, contour with the bronzer and just a kind of like pinched in brush. I don't know what you would call that, but I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go over where we laid that cream contour down. Now don't worry, I know that it looks like intense as hell, but I'm gonna blend that out, you guys. Calm down. We're gonna blend, blend, blend that out, honey. Just get a little bit of that on our nose. And then take a little bit and cut that jaw, honey. Just cut. Yes, honey, just cut that jaw just a little bit. Sorry, my camera died. But I'm back at it again. <laughs> But as you can see, if you've watched my previous videos and then you see now, this is why I love cream contour. I mean, I know to some it may be look like too intense, but like right here in my mirror, this is perfect. Like you don't need anything else. And then, like I said, if you do think it's too intense, you could just go back over it with your translucent powder and that will clearly lighten it all the way up for you honey but i like to keep it trill and leave it like that and now we're going to take a crap <sighs> that's, that's annoying sorry about that <laughs> Now we're going to take a angled, like angle contoured brush, but we're actually just going to use it for highlight. I mean, not for highlight, sorry, for um some blush. And I'm just going to take a super peachy blush because with my complexion, I wouldn't dare put a pink blush on my skin, but hey. 
you know, do you, boo. Whatever you like. Because I don't really wear blush like that. Like, I just started doing a lot of this stuff. Experimenting in my downtime. And I'm actually really enjoying it. Like, I love the outcome of a lot of this makeup that I've been trying and a lot of these different techniques. Because I was really scared. Like, I was really scared of blush and stuff. I was like, ah, oh, I look like the lady that played on the Drew Carey show. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But look at us now. Okay, sorry for the sexy face on camera. <laughs> And now we're just gonna go back in with the colors that we used all over our lid. Let me see. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, bless me. And now I'm just going to take, sorry about that yarn guys, now I'm just going to take a super short shader brush and I'm going to take the little color combo that we used for our, um, our base of our eyeshadow, sorry, brain for told y'all, told y'all by the end of this being shambles. And we're just going to shade underneath our eye. Yes, honey. And for this particular step, you really want to make sure that you do knock the brush off because you don't want any of that excess fallout falling on top of your makeup that we just did. That's like the only thing I save because if I try to do, if I try to smoke this out and then put face makeup on over it, nine times out of ten, I'll just cover up the smoking under eyes with the makeup. So that's why I don't do that. But that's just a tip from me to you just always remember to knock off your brush it just really helps in the long run all these tips that i'm giving you guys if you don't already know them they just really make a makeup application just easier in the long run that's all and that's all Okay, let's see. I'm going to take a little bit more of that glitter like I told you earlier. Because I really just want to pack it on. Kind of send my makeup statement. Yes, honey. Make a statement. And now let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Um, we're going to align our eyes and then put on some big, bold, dramatic eyelashes to finish off this look. Then we'll highlight in a lip color. Now, of course, I know you haven't seen these in a while, but I'm using some of my favorite brand of eyelashes. My She Blinks eyelashes in the style Opiates. This is my favorite, absolute favorite style and probably pair of lashes ever made on God's Green Earth, I swear.
I know what y'all are like thinking, man, she isn't done yet. No, but y'all still watching. So just, you know, just, just come down. You got nowhere to be, honey. That's why you watching. No, I'm just kidding, y'all might really have stuff going on, I don't know. Don't pay me any attention. And I'm just taking my dual lash adhesive and my eyelash tweezers. Stop using hair glue, you guys. Stop using hair glue on your eyelashes. You'll never have actual eyelashes if you keep doing that. And if you're putting your own eyelashes on, you know better. You know better. It's not safe. It even says it on the bottle, don't use on your eyes. So why are you doing it? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I guess y'all just want to go blind. I don't know. So I'm just taking my eyelash tweezers and just gluing my eyelash. Y'all don't need to see this. And just a, another pro tip from me to you. Always put on your um always put on your eyeliner after your glitter and before your lashes. And once you apply your lashes, if you feel like you need more eyeliner, you can go ahead and put some um over the eyelashes but it just really helps to fill in gaps that your eyelashes may leave between you know like your real eyelashes and your fake ones so i'm just going to do a simple wing y'all know those are my favorite and i'm just using a simple drugstore And I'm just going, and that's all for the wings. It's pretty simple. Y'all know how I do my wings. And I'm going to take the NYX Wonder Pencil in light, and I'm going to line it underneath my eyes. Because I don't like wearing, I don't even, I really just don't like wearing, um, eyeliner on my waterline in general. But I've been wanting to try this at Ulta for a while. So when I finally did buy it. I thought, hey, this would be the perfect time to use it. If my eyes weren't so watery and red. <laughs> okay, so our eyelashes should be done cooking. Let's hope so. Mmm. Ciao. I'm sorry, but our deli got nothing on these, honey. Unless you hate when your tweezers want to stick to your eyelashes or vice versa or however. That's like, ugh, that's so annoying. I'm like, no nah, eyelashes, I ain't got nowhere to be. You know, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Just doing what fucking ever. And 
And I'm just going to take a random mascara that I have in my drawer because y'all know I don't wear mascara. I hate this shit. It gets everywhere. And I'm just going to do my bottoms. Nothing new. And I just added just a little bit of mascara, nothing too intense to take away from the eyes. Something a little, a little subtle. Now for my favorite part, setting spray. I'm not gonna Jeffree Star it for you guys today. I'm just gonna do a little, little light, little something, something. But this is new. I don't think I've had this on camera yet. I was using the all nighter setting spray. I now use the D Slick, which is the oil control spray, because like I said, during this time of the year, I'm super oily. This, my friends, if you weren't oily, I swear by this. I would give this to Jesus if he was oily. That's how good this is. That's how the good this really works. I actually um, use this like because I prep my skin and stuff off camera before I start the video, you know, with the primers and everything. But I would, I love this and I actually spray this on after I do my primers and stuff and it actually works. And that's one thing, like I try to only show products on my channel that really work for everyone and that y'all would like, like to see because I know that's what y'all are looking for. Like something if you're gonna spend, you know, $20, $25 on something like this, you're gonna want it to work and it really does work especially for us oily girls this is like heaven sent so if you haven't tried the urban decay d slick oil control setting spray please go get it you won't buy anything else And always fan your face after you spray. I don't know why Nikki Tutorials told me to do it, so hey, I just listen. And for my favorite part, we're going to take my current favorite highlighter. and my handy dandy highlighting brush and we're going to take let's see we're going to take maybe kitty cat and forever young and we're gonna mix those And a trick I just learned today, always smile when you're putting on your highlighters. So you not you can't just see it when you turn it inside. You actually want to see it like when you're looking forward as well. So definitely try that trick considering the fact that, mm, that it is prom season, you know. And all your pictures are not going to be like this. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to eventually look the camera at some point. So, just another little pro tip from me to you. Y'all better be loving all these tips. This is why I kind of cooled it on talk throughs because y'all, y'all know I can talk. Get that cupid spell running. Mm. 
Hmm, and tell me what y'all think about the new background and the new lights. Shout out to LJ. I mean, y'all probably can't see the lights because I got the camera pointing down too low. But shout out to LJ for um, helping me hook all this up at 2 o'clock in the morning because I know he was mad. But that's all right. Hopefully, it'll pay off one day. And for an extra fun, like, because this kind of reminds me of, like I said earlier, like a under the, the under the sea, like kind of a festival look, I'm going to add some chunky iridescent, iridescent glitter <gasps> that I got from Target. So I'm just gonna take some glitter glue And I'm just going to dot this on random areas of my face where I would put, where I just put the highlighter actually, just to add like an extra pizzazz or something. I don't know. Just me being extra, y'all know. Something to have fun with and play with. And I mean, it's iridescent. Who doesn't love iridescence? Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Is that not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Huh. Look at us, you guys. Starting trends and shit. I mean, pretty sure this, is, this isn't a trend. I don't want to say that and then somebody come for my life in the comments or anything silly like that. But I mean, I'm just saying it's cute. It's cute. I don't know nobody that's doing it, my personally. You know what, just cause I'm in a good mood, Let's add some right to our tear ducts. So I don't go blind, guys. Pray for me. All right. Oh my God, y'all! Look at this. This shit is fire. This shit is banging. Okay, now for the piece to resist all, we're just gonna add a super simple lip. Matter of fact, cause we're feeling, we're feeling super iridescent today. We're just gonna have a whole lot of fun and we're going to take our unicorn tears lipstick and add this to the mix And <laughs> because I'm just, I'm, I'm really doing the most right now. If I could find it, 
we're going to add just a little bit of our NYX white eyeliner. And this is the completed look. So, like I said at the start of this video, I don't know where any of this was going. I mean, I don't think any of you guys knew either where this was going. But this is where we ended. We got us some iridescent little highlighter girl just popping. Got us some unicorn tears on our lips, honey this is popping like I would would I well maybe I would probably wear this somewhere just being the kind of person I am and like to make a statement I would probably wear this somewhere but that is the finished look and I hope you guys really enjoy it and I hope y'all like this this talk through sorry I kicked the camera I know it was pretty long but that's why I don't do talk throughs too often I just like to do voiceovers because they I, I can talk y'all especially at five o'clock in the morning I damn sure can talk but if you like this video be sure that scared the shit out of me it was a bird if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, you know, tell your friends, tell everybody, invite people to my channel. Do whatever you can to help me grow my community just a little bit more. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Hi guys, I just wanted to put this snippet in there and let you all know that in case you actually did want to wear this out and thought the lip was too much for the eye look, I wanted to throw in something that was much more wearable, something more neutral that will kind of counteract the eye. So I am wearing the NYX Liquid Lingerie in lace detail because I made um, I made two intros and two um, slow-mo videos with, with me in the two different ones, but I just wanted to let you see that there was another option in case you really did like this eye look and was looking for a lip to kind of go with it so here it is